Hello guys, welcome back. If this is your first time here, you are welcome. In today's video, I'm going to share with you guys a Baha. I have a video of a Baha. This one is a little bit different. So, yeah, the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to make the peanut flour, just peanut milk. You just add the peanut in your blender or your food processor, whatever you have, and then ground it and then sift the peanut just you're gonna repeat the process of that and then that will be done in a few minutes so I'm gonna sift it just sift it's so easy though if you have all the ingredients on hand then I'm gonna repeat that do that make all the peanuts flour then and I will show you guys what I'm gonna do next to repeat that the next thing I'm gonna do the peanut flour is done now what I'm gonna do here I'm gonna make the I'm gonna soak the beans black eye beans I'm gonna soak them just for a few minutes maybe half an hour or 20 minutes something like that then i have what i have here i have can then i'm gonna put it in the oven for 15 minutes i'm using the spicy one like this is hot chili but they are not that hot so you can use maybe the oil mackerel something like that or the water based one so i'm using the chili one i like the little bit heat so i'm gonna just make the gauge the dry salty fish I put on in the fire then now it's ready I'm just separate it and I take the skin off I don't need the skin so I dice the onions and the spring onions as you can see there then now I just take the mackerel out if you don't um, have the cane mackerel if you have fresh mackerel you just going to do the same and put it in the oven for uh, maybe half an hour or 45 minutes depend of your size the size but I have a video of that, that video is coming soon where um, the video I make how to make mackerel so stay tuned for that video it's coming soon so now I'm gonna separate that The video is gonna be just like it's gonna be like child symbol, you know, Gambian, the Kobo Bulaka. So yeah, so just like that. So I'm gonna separate that. That is all done. So now I'm gonna add it in the peanuts to mix all the ingredients together. The spring onions and the onions. And then if you like spice, you can add um like habanero pepper just dice and add it there but because of my kids gonna eat it that's why i'm not adding any spice and now i'm gonna add the vegetable seasoning and our local seasoning like our local bean seasoning needed to i add that one too and i'm gonna add my season some of this seasoning and then now i'm gonna mix them together all the ingredients together then the next thing I'm gonna do I'm going to steam it in a microwave for five minutes if you don't like don't steam it but I like to steam mine so it's up to you I'm going to steam it for five minutes just five minutes like if you steam it reduce the cooking time and your peanut cook very fast you don't have to that's a lot of time. Then now I'm gonna add the uh, quick cook. Um, now the peanuts steam well. Then I'm gonna add the cooked mussel, like yohas in Gambia we call it yohas. So I'm gonna add that. If you don't have, you don't have to, but like something extra, like something you know fancy, is a very nice bath. Yeah. If you want to, you can add some like. Sometimes I do that. Maybe I'll make video for that one too. That type of bahal. I have a lot of way I make bahal, so maybe I will do that video too. Then I'm gonna 
put it aside then I cook the beans I'm gonna move on to make the beans then I'm gonna add it in water just let it cook for maybe 15 to 20 minutes around then we will I will take the liquid and you will see what that happens you can see the liquid is super brown. You don't want to eat this. I'm gonna chuck that one to rinse the beans. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm just going to rinse it and I rinse the pot then I add water and then put it back in the stove. Then I'm gonna rinse the beans then I put it back let it cook and I add the alcohols. Then now I'm gonna add the okra and the chili for garnish. Yeah. I'm just gonna add it and cover it. Let it cook for a few minutes. Then now I'm gonna measure my rice. Then what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna rinse the rice. I'm going to wash it very well. Then just go and add it straight. The rice is gonna cook, or oh, um, the rice and bean is gonna cook at the same time. Then now the rice is done, now I'm gonna take the okra and the chili, the habanero pepper, Remove them out, then I'm gonna add the rice straight. And salt, and salt, and then I add the rice. Let it come to boil. Lid on, let it come to boil. Now you can see it boiling. Then I'm gonna take the liquid out, it's a lot of liquid. Otherwise, the rice will be too sticky. And I'm taking the liquid out. Then I will add some butter. If you don't like butter, you can leave it out. You can add olive oil too. That's going to work the same. Or you can use low fat butter. Like now, they have so many options of butter, even vegan butter. <laughs> so it's up to you. Then I'm going to add butter, mix it together. And I add the peanut, the steam. And I'm gonna add it there, spread it out, spread it, then I cover, put the lid on, cover it for around 10 minutes, just around. Let it cook very low heat, otherwise it's gonna be brown, the bottom of the pan, so very low heat. And then, yeah, after 10 minutes, it's time to check on. <laughs> then now you can see the steam is coming. <laughs> that was is already cooked. And the peanut is cooked, but not that maybe 75% cook, yeah, something like that. Then I'm gonna mix it, then I will cover it maybe around seven minutes. Then yeah, should be done. I'm just gonna cover it maybe another seven minutes. After seven minutes, okay. <laughs> Now it's, it's cooked, now it's done, now it's, it's time to enjoy. <laughs> yeah. If you like this video, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up, like, share the video, subscribe if you haven't subscribed, what are you waiting for? Subscribe, join, join the community, you know. Yeah, all the good things and thank you so so much for watching the video and I will catch you guys soon in my next video. Bye, thanks.